So I ran across some head. Well, there was a blogger that said when uh, 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 Black Panther opened in China, um, there's a there was a lot of this, this critics went after, it, but they were saying like weird things, like the movie was too black. I think it was kind of kind of strange, you know what I mean? Uh, in other words, when it came in, it was I, I don't know. It's, you know just have to look him up. I'll, maybe I'll post. But anyway, the, 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 the critics in, in China uh, uh, sort of panned it, you know. Um, and I was thinking of, of months ago, uh, for, out of the blue, um, uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman, who plays Black Panther, got some award from China. You know, it was given to him in, in, in L.A. And he was wondering why it was. Everybody was wondering why. I was wondering why it was. It was just a small island that, that passed. Nobody made a big deal of it. And I, But when that happened, I said right there, ooh, something's happening. You know how those Chinese, they don't particularly, you know, I don't, I don't know what their deal is. Um, but uh, I said, well, maybe they're preparing it for Black Panther so he has a good press or something like that. So when this happens in the... In the um, and the Chinese, you know, uh, critics, you know, basically pan the movie over some like really superficial, strange stuff. I don't know what, what the deal was. So that's one thing that happened. Then, uh, then I saw this headline that uh, you know there was some sort of move that you know the, the black community, whoever says you know they, the Marvel and Disney should give something back to the black community because you know we we pushed this movie, you know, made it whatever it is, right? <clears throat> which made no sense to me at all, business-wise. Right? I'll get into that in just a second. So I'm looking at these both two. So let's deal with the China thing first. Way back in the 80s, right, this is in New York, I noticed that when there was a, a, a larger immigration, because right, there's always been a Chinatown in, in New York, but then they really started exploding. It was not just China, like the Koreans, you know, but Japanese always had a little thing, you know, Filipinos are coming with the nursing thing. So anyway, so there was a lot of Korean, uh, Korean, I say Chinese, but I think it was really Korean markets, you know, the, the, um, um, you, you would be in New York, like I, I lived on Lower East Side, for instance, and so there was like within one block. You, you, you might be. You know, I had a girlfriend, and she lived upstairs. You know, you don't really need a refrigerator because you go right downstairs. They're open 24 hours, and you get what you want. Something's cold, whatever have you. So it was very, very, very convenient. But there was also this thing that were very, um, um, uh, let's say, racist. Well, I don't like to use that word a lot, but say discriminatory against black people a lot. That's with the, the, 90, the 92 riots, whatever it was, with Ronnie King, that whole thing with the Korean thing. Then they got this whole thing with the, with the guns and shooting black people, whatever it is. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So I've always questioned that. And then, but in the 80s, my, you know, I start thinking because a lot of the people that came, you know, remember after 1965, uh, they, they all of a sudden America had this immigration problem. Everybody started to flood. You know they had the same rights as, as you know what we call like descendants of child slavery. You know they had those same rights and they would you know pimp the system, whatever have you. This was not just uh, it's all over the world, right? They would come to the states. Okay. And so I was thinking, but what's the kind of people that could come to the states? They were basically like middle class folks. You know people that back then, back you know back in their home country, they would be the ones that would could afford TV, for instance. So the kind of TV they was getting was like good times. I'm talking about good times after John Amos, not before John Amos. You know, they, they, you know these kind of caricature things that, that, that was prevalent in the in the in the 70s, um, in the 70s especially. I remember these people started coming in the 80s, and and then you have all these, you know, all this thing about black people this, black people that, that. and of course the, the movies were depicting you know black people as drug addicts, and, you know, with drug dealers and all the rest of the, the hip hop cultures really, uh, even though it, it hit the scene, it started in the 70s. And, and, Bronx, but then you know hit the scene really in the 80s is when the world started knowing that by the 90s you know it changed this whole you know the gangster rap and all the rest of that stuff so the depiction that folks folks on outside world was seeing of black people were very demeaning let's put it that that's why black panther was a, was a big deal one of the reasons and so but i realized so these kind of people could and they would then spread their prejudice back to their people back home or whatever have just just a second let me let me just Put a little amendment there. Um, not amendment there, but even in Africa, like the word was, you know, they would see images, whatever happened. So a lot of the Chinese people that came, at least circles that I know, kept out the open clothing stores because they felt that, you know, Africans need clothes. You know, what I mean, that kind of, you know, racial stereotype was happening. So, uh, so, so, so I'm, I'm looking at that. I'm going like, this is really terrible. This is where Black Panther, maybe this whole whole thing will change. It'll take a while, but you know, you see uh, black people in a better light, 
and, and perhaps things will change. Plus, there's a whole lot of other factors. Okay, so let's leave that alone. Zip. You know, let's go to this other uh, news. This thing about the, the boys. Uh, what happens? Marvel's giving a million dollars to boys and girls club. Now you do know when you donate to something like that, you know you you get a tax break, so they're not really losing a lot. But we had this thing uh, when I, uh, because of the work I do. Uh, well, I'm going to school now, but before that, uh, I usually work all over the world with the poorest of the poor in community radio. That's what I did for a long time. And when I got to South Africa, and what I noticed working in, in, the, uh, in the township especially, they would wait for an NGO to come. NGO would come, give them a week or two, whatever, have you, something. They'd give them some food, whatever, have you, and then they'd be gone. So this whole donation thing, and remember the donation thing. And this uh, uh, U.S. aid, it's all a scam because you know, there's all kinds of riders on it, you know, like the, it's just, it's just a scam. So I've got this whole thing about, you know, we don't, don't do this, you know, uh, the, uh, applying for this, applying for that, and getting charity given to you. Let's put it that way. And even right now, uh, the, this uh, one uh, that Bono, uh, Bono, the charity Bono has for, to save Africa, whatever they're, they're doing like that. It was just reported that the the, the NGO here, or whatever that they had here, uh, they were abusing people in, in South Africa in Johannesburg in terms of like, you know, just being demeaning to them and, and whatever it is. Then of course you have the whole uh, 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 Clinton Foundation with Haiti and all these. You know, they rip, they rip in the name of charity and rip people off. You know, so I was always thinking, like, oh. so let me get to the point now. Marvel. Look, let me put it this way. If anybody, I know we have six degrees of separation. If anybody knows anybody in you know, Marvel Studios, Disney, whatever have you, please send them this message. You are not a charity organization. You are a business, right? Your, your business is film. If you want to give back to the community, what you do, if you want to spend that kind of money, what you do is you put out competitions all over. You can have different kinds of competitions. You know that you know. You know say uh, well, if you if you make a, a a film related to Black Panther, you know what I mean. For, so let's 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 be specific, right? As we know, Eric Killmonger. Everybody's an Eric Killmonger. He's the guy. You know what I mean? Oh, but he died. It's not going to be Eric Killmonger. But it's comic book. So let's say that you know the competition would be look. Um, we at Marvel and Disney, we're not really deal with Eric Kilmar, but we would like, especially guys on the internet, whatever. Would you like to? We like to have a competition where you make a film about, say, uh, Eric Kilmonger goes to the spiritual realm and he, and he organizes all of the past, you know, uh, uh, spiritual or, or that whole spiritual realm. You know what I mean? Organize them to help cause whatever, you know what I mean? Or what, you, something that's related to that, right? And then you have certain competition levels because you have to be fair, right? Because somebody in a, in a, somebody who doesn't uh, have a, a lot of money can't make a great film or a great uh, production, whatever have you. So you have, you have a, uh, if you made your production for under $500, that's in this category. If you made your production for under, you know, from, from, from uh, 500 to, to five thousand dollars you're in this category if you are over five thousand dollars to whatever ten thousand you, you go like that then or you can also have like uh, you can have sort of uh, different uh, 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 things like if you're a community uh, thing or all the take get boys to go all, all, all kinds of clubs or whatever have you you're in competition but you have different levels of if you bring in this product with, with you you will get you will get money you know we'll pay we're basically going to pay you for a good film, and your film will get distribution. We will even take the first, second, third, whatever, fourth uh, categories, and we'll give them a workshop, or whatever the deal is. You know, but there's other ways to do it. Just do not give money to anybody. This charity thing has got to end. You know what I mean, this is one of the big reasons. The the what the only real peeve I had about the film was at the end, well, you know, when Wakanda comes and, and they say, well, I have bought this, with this, and we're going to do this and this, this for the community. No, let the, either the community go to them and get something done or whatever. You see where I'm going? You see where I'm going with this? So, charity, stop this charity. There's no more charity. You, the, the people can, can do stuff and then they, they will, and, 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 and they can be re pay for what they do. One of the things I do is audio drama. In audio drama, hey, we can make commercials for any, we, we, uh, the kids can make commercials for any company, you know what I mean? I even had this plan where, say for instance, in electronics, say for instance, we have cameras, you know, cameras. So, so, so say you have a trade show in, in East London, you have a trade show that, that comes every, you know it's going to come at the end of the year. And so when Sony or, 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 or whoever, you know, puts out their, their product, you know, Canon or whoever puts out their product, they, 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 they usually show it at a trade show. But the year before, they can give, say, their cameras or something like that to a group and say, look, 
uh, uh, township testers group, right? The, this, this, this product, whatever it is, right? And then when we come with our trade show, you give a report, you give it a thing, and we will pay you for that. Plus, you can keep the, you can keep this new product that that, that, that we're going to put out. You'll have you be the first to have it. You see what I'm saying? Cell phones, the whole thing you can do with this. So that's what I'm saying. No more charity. That's that's not good. Donations, no, that's not good. Tax thing, no, that's not good. Figure out some other way. Your lane, uh, your lane is to create, you know, tell stories, creative things, not to give charity, okay? That's, that's it for me. T, from the Patterson Second Train to, to Tibet, letting you know what I always suspect.